Since mid-October, more than 20 million Americans have applied for President Biden's student loan forgiveness plan. Depending on your income, you could be eligible for up to $10,000 in relief and $20,000 if you're a Pell Grant recipient. But those plans have been temporarily halted by the courts after six states sued the administration. I sat down with candidates running to replace retiring U.S. Senator Jim Inhofe, Republican Congressman Mark Wayne Mullen, and Democratic challenger Kendra Horn to ask them their thoughts on the current state of student loans in this country. The purpose, right? You're getting a higher education and we shouldn't ask people to choose between um, starting a family or buying a home and paying off their student loan debt. We need to make it accessible. We, we need to make sure we're covering costs, but we don't need high interest rates for student loans. That defeats the purpose, right? So what you decide to do is up to you. That's not government's responsibility to take care of your issues. If we want, every time we think government's going to solve our problems, understand it's going to come with a lot of red tape. And I have yet to see something the government gets involved in that does better than the private sector could do it. So coming up this Wednesday, we will have a more in-depth look at where both candidates stand on other issues that matter to you, like inflation, energy, abortion, and the war in Ukraine. Make sure you tune into our KOCO election special. Again, that's this Wednesday at 7 p.m. right here on KOCO.